you want Abraham, to show what's you a going face on? here again? I... Is that my boy come home? What? Jake's back? Oh, thank God. Please. I know I screwed up pretty big. I, I thought if I joined up, I could keep them from raiding our farm. I didn't. I don't want to hurt anybody. I don't care what you thought. I told you. Abraham Francis Finch, that's enough. Mama, if... Shut up, Jake. If I hear anything out of either of you, you'll both be peeling potatoes for the next year. I've watched you two go at it for years and tried to let you sort it out for yourselves. Abraham, your son is a grown man. And if you expect him to act like one, then you'd better stop treating him like a child. Jake, your father and I have been out there, and we know it can be dangerous. We just want to make sure you're prepared. There, it's over. And if I hear another word about it from either of you, so help me. She's right. Abraham. She's right. I've been a fool. There's no way I can thank you enough. Here's the caps we agreed on. Plus a bit for helping my boy. I think you should hang on to that sword. It'd put a smile on Granddad's face to know it was being used to help people. Hey. What do you want? Hold up. I think we need to talk. Sure, go ahead. Appreciate it. I've been waiting for the right moment to talk to you, and I suppose this is as good a time as any. After helping me get Duncan's cure for medtech, I figured I owe you something. And I always pay my debts. Here. I wanted you to have this. I know a carved toy soldier is a strange reward for risking your life, but this one's special. It means a lot to me. If it's special to you, then it's a thoughtful gift. Thank you. You're welcome. Just be sure you don't lose it. My wife Lucy gave this to me right after we met. I, uh, I told her I was a soldier and she made it for me. Never could bring myself to tell her the truth. That I was just a hired killer. And the soldier story was the best thing I could come up with. I didn't want to lose her because of what I was. Did she ever find out the truth? No. It doesn't really matter anymore. She died a few years back. We made the mistake of holding up in a metro station one night. We didn't know that the place was infested with ferals. They were on her before I could even fire a shot. Ripped her apart right in front of me. There was nothing I could do. Took everything I had to escape with Duncan in my arms. Maybe it would have been better if we died there with her. You may have lost your wife, but you saved your son. That counts for something. Maybe. I don't know anymore. Damn, I miss Lucy. No matter how bad things got, she was always there with a shoulder to lean on. It gave me... Well, it, it gave me the courage I needed to press ahead. To never give up. When she died, I thought that feeling was gone forever. Then I met you. You have the world's problems in your back, and here you are helping me with mine. Lending me your shoulder like Lucy did. I just want you to know how much your friendship means to me. I was hoping what we have together could be more than friendship. I... I, I don't know. I mean, I, I never thought of us that way. What about your husband? I know he's gone, but you still love him, don't you? Would it bother you if I still love him? I don't know. I mean, we're two sides of the same coin, right? It's true, I miss Lucy to death. But at some point we have to move on, don't you think? That's the past. You are all that matters to me now. I... 
I, I don't know what to say. I know I was taking a chance dumping all my feelings on the table. But now that I know how you really feel about me, it was definitely worth the risk. For once in my life, everything's going right, and, and I have you to thank for it. I don't think anyone in the world could ask for a greater gift than that. Thank you. Thanks again for getting me out of there. Hey. Thanks again for getting me out of there. 